Yo, welcome back everyone. I'm Eric from Rare Candy, and today we are back on PTCGO trying out Mien Xiao. So I promise one of these days we will get around to playing more two prize and three prize decks, but today is not that day. We still have a couple single prize decks that are worth trying out. Uh, but yeah, I know Rapid Strike Urshifu has been probably the more anticipated new Rapid Strike Pokemon from this set, obviously. But Mian Chao is a cool little one prize Pokemon that I think has some decent long-term potential. But it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon, has the Spinning Whip attack, 90, your opponent's active is confused, and you shuffle this card and all cards attached to it into your deck. So we have like a walling strategy here, kind of similar to things like Behem or even things of the past like Dawn Fan or Excelgor. Um, but yeah, just pairing this guy with a bunch of different walls and trying to uh, deny knockouts with this fun little single prize deck that we have. But before we get any deeper into today's video, if you guys can't remember, smack that like button, help us beat that pesky YouTube algorithm. And if you need any cards to complete this deck or any others, you can visit our friends at ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And our patrons actually have their own exclusive discount code over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg for even bigger savings as well. But looking at a lot of the other Pokemon we have, we have the new Octillery. I think this card really does pair especially nice with our Mian Xiao because with these types of hit and run decks, the big issue is every turn you have to find your energy and your next attacker. And Octillery actually can search out both pieces of that equation. So what do I mean by that? With Rapid Strike Search, we can search our deck for a Rapid Strike card, put it into our hand. So let's say we use our Mian Xiao. The next turn we need to find another Mian Xiao and an energy. Well, guess what? We can play maybe a supportive return, find our Rapid Strike energy. But if we still don't have a Mian Xiao, we can use this and get the other piece of the puzzle or vice versa, whatever it might be. Um, but we also have, since we are playing the Octillery, we do have the one copy of Karina's Focus, just to be able to bail us out of a dead hand, just draw until we have six. Not a bad supporter, good enough for this type of deck, since we are playing Octillery. Um, in addition to Octillery, though, we are still playing a copy of Oracorio GX, just to kind of supplement our draw power a little bit more. So every time our opponent takes a knockout, we can activate Oracorio, draw three cards. You know, our opponent is going to have to go through a lot of different Pokemon to win a game, because we have things like Altaria and Lily's Pokedol. So we have a lot of turns where we can abuse this, making, I think, Oracoria a really good partner for a deck like this. Uh, like I said, we do have the 3-3 Altaria line uh, for that Miraculous Charm ability. We can prevent all damage done to it by Pokemon V and Pokemon GX. I mean, this card just wins you so many games that you otherwise wouldn't win. A lot of times you can just go second turn of all Altaria pass. And sometimes, depending on what you're playing, it's, that's enough to just win you a game a lot of times. So Altaria is going to be one of our primary wall targets, but also we have, of course, the four Lily's Pokedol as well, uh, just to deny knockouts. Of course, the advantage to this guy is that it doesn't give up prizes. So if your opponent does have maybe some sort of single prize answer to your Altaria, you still have your dolls here to make sure they can't draw prizes. Uh, one of my favorite new cards from Battle Styles, I've not been shy about that up until now, has been Level Ball. This is such a good card in a variety of single prize decks, but especially this one because it searches out your Mianfu, your Mian Xiao, your Swablu, and your Remoraid. So all of your basics plus your main attacker, uh, which is really nice. I should say all of our basics outside of Oracorio at least. Uh, some of the other important cards we have here are going to be Tool Scrapper. This is going to be good at getting rid of uh, Air Balloons, most importantly, because we're going to confuse our opponent. We don't want them to be able to easily switch out of play. We want to force them to burn their energy to retreat if need be. So Tool Scrapper is just going to be, it's going to make things a little bit more annoying for our opponent. Uh, we also have two copies of Bruno. It's another new card from Battle Styles I've really been liking in single prize decks like this. If your opponent took a knockout on the previous turn, you can shuffle your hand in and draw seven. So if you have this Octillery and your Oracorio, you can get, what, 10 cards plus your Octillery, which is insane. So love Bruno a lot in this deck. Uh, of course, from there, we have our Rapid Strike Energies to fulfill our attack cost. And I think that's about it in terms of interesting cards. Great catcher in the deck just to easily pick off the Dene's if we want to. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the list we're going to be trying out, guys. Fun little one prize deck. You know, I think these hit and run decks have been cool, but lately they haven't been super good. I think primarily due to ADP being around and having like a billion bosses orders they can play to just shut you out of a game. But Altaria can still win you games against ADP. Don't get it misconstrued. So... We'll have to see if Altaria, in conjunction with Mianxia, having a pretty good type advantage against stuff in the format, might make this deck a little bit more viable than some of the others in the past. But let's hop some games and see what we can make happen.
Oh god, I hope this is not our, our mortal enemy ADP. We see they got the ADP deck box. This could be a short one, guys. We're a single prize deck that can't take one shots that is relying on forcing your opponent to not have boss's orders. It's like literally, ADP is like literally the uh, like antithesis of our entire strategy. So we have to hope that's not what it is. But we'll see. Okay, definitely a pretty workable hand here. Kind of weird we mulligan with how many basic Pokemon this deck has. But yeah, there's the Zacian V. Ugh. The only way this could maybe go well for us is if they... If we get some good confusion flips to go our way. That's the only thing that could go right for us. I'm not confident that's going to happen, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we'll Great Ball. Uh, we want none of these things, so just going to have to fail that. Let's see, probably go for a Remoraid. That seems good. Put this back and just go for probably a Swablu. I think I'm cool with that. I think a lot of ADP decks aren't playing Aegislash right now, so... Swablu seems okay to get down. Get down Air Balloon and just go for the research. Gonna attach Air Balloon to the Manfu because we're gonna shuffle it back in deck and that'll give us some flexibility in terms of what we want to... Um, what we want to get this down on on future turns. So for the moment, just gonna retreat. And could get down another Swablu. It's putting a lot of faith in our opponent not having um, Age of Slash or a counter, but I think we're going to do it. And for a moment, just going to click Done. Next turn, if we want, we can just use Doll, put it back in our deck. But I didn't want to leave the Manfu active and then, you know, maybe switch gears and take out our only attacker instead of going for the quick altered creation. Now, I mean... Are, are we going to win? No. <laughs> but I'm trying to play to our outs the best we can here. So we just need some good coin flips to go our way and some rough draws for our opponent. Uh, we do need to find Tool Scrapper as well. Tool Scrapper can definitely be good here. Um, making it harder for our opponent to retreat is definitely going to be a valuable thing for this deck. Okay, and there's Alter Creation. So let's see what we can start doing. We're going to attach probably um, to the Mianfu. Gonna have a ton of energy on the sky, but it's okay because we can uh, just get it back in deck. So I think we're gonna put the doll back in deck as well. And just go for the research. All right, so let's see what we get off of the great ball first. Huh, we whiffed, that's a bummer. Then from there, just gonna go for the level ball, grab another Mian Fu. Get down a doll. And from there, just gonna go for the spinning whip. Okay. So unfortunately we didn't get the tool scrapper. But at least we're forcing them to have switch. And ooh, they've not burned a single one. So yeah, odds are not in our favor for them to not have an attack. Of course, the big things they want to find are gonna be switch boss. Do they have the boss? And actually, the more I'm thinking about this, the more I kind of think we almost against ADP just kind of, we just kind of abandon our normal strategy. I think we just set up Altaris and say, do something. I think that's actually what our game plan sh should be. That's not as interesting of a video to watch though. So we're actually gonna just play kind of like normal, but there might be, yeah, there's the boss. But since they're doing that, that now sort of opens us up to maybe going for the sort of play I just outlined. Because Age Slash is the only thing that goes through effects. They would need something like that or Duraludon.
So yeah, I think that's what we're going to be playing for this game. Level wall, let's just thin the deck. I think at this point we're going to just abandon our core strategy, like I, I kind of mentioned, and we're going to pivot into the, um, the wall strategy at this point. Okay, there's the research, and we get, hey, two Altarius, that's really good. Let's go. All right, ADP, what you got? Do you have, do you have an answer or do you not? Um, I'll just retreat into this guy, save our air balloon. Now, we just need to be careful about a Mawile GX play at this point. That's like the one thing that could come back to bite us. Hoping for a Maw Wild this turn. Okay, there's the Cherish Ball. Okay, so this is a good turn for them to, to bench this. Because we don't have any basics they can get on our bench. Okay, suddenly the, the, the game just became a little bit more winnable. Now, another question is, do they play two Maw Wild? A lot of lists do. Lot, I mean, a lot don't, but if they're not playing the Age of Slash or the Draladon, a lot of times they're going to be playing the second copy of Maw Wild, and that's where things could get sketchy for us. So, one, two, let's see their energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, okay, let's just do this. And I think we're just going to attempt to stall with this Dedenny in the active. I think that's kind of our game plan over here right now. Just making it as tough as possible for our opponent to actually get KOs. So just going to click done. I think the moment that we draw into a basic, then we Marnie or Bruno potentially after they've moved to Denny as well, I should say. So just gonna click done. We have a lot more cards in deck, so I don't think we have to worry about decking. Okay, so we're actually gonna use the Great Catcher, believe it or not. Um, We'll just get rid of the Bruno, or probably the Marnie, because we, if we're trying to deck them, we got, we don't want to put cards back in their deck. Or air balloon might not even be bad. Uh, we'll do the air balloon. Mawile still needs energy, so I think that's probably what we do. And from there, just pass. Okay, definitely we'll play Tool Scrapper at this point. One hour later. So I think we I think we're actually gonna put a Mien Shao back in deck. We don't want to draw into basic Pokemon. Because that's I think the only thing that's really gonna lose us this game. Yo, I was just saying we're like guaranteed to lose this, but uh, it's kind of looking okay, guys. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Have they played a tool scrapper? They have not. So I might hold off on the air balloon for the moment. Because if they get down like a Duraludon or something like that, I wouldn't be able to move this Altaria. I don't want them to go down go like Duraludon, uh, attach scrapper and let's not be able to move this anymore. One eternity later. So this, this is an important turn for our deck here. No basics. 
Okay, that's it. That's perfect. This is exactly what we want to see. So let's just click done. Do they have an out? Come on, ADP, what you got? <sighs> oh, so <laughs> we're doing this. Okay. Um, all right, I guess that's what we're doing. How many switch are they down? And we get the victory screen. Okay, so I said we were like guaranteed to lose this, but I mean, if you just go two Altarias, Doll, pass, like what are you, what are you gonna do? Again, they uh, we caught them on a good turn where they didn't get basics from our, from their Mawile and they didn't play a Duraludon or an Aegislash, so maybe Mian Shao can be ADP. I think most of the time, no, but uh, we got there <laughs> this game, so we'll take it. Okay, opponent has a metal deck box, so some sort of Zacian deck. Hopefully it's not ADP, but we'll see. Okay, Remoraid starts. Hand's like not, it's not the worst, but it's not really what I want either. I don't want to have to toss away Rapid Strike energies. Like maybe there's a world where we attach a Rapid Strike energy to a Mian Fu in pass. Okay, so Bronzor, we can work with that. That means I'm gonna guess probably gonna be like a Corviknight deck. I think we don't mind that quite as much as ADP. Okay, now we do actually have to kind of worry about Bronzong potentially. Bronzong is actually gonna be a decent attacker against us. If we do try to go for the the whole stall strategy with Altaria. Okay, already down two boss. That's really good. And an escape rope. Those are all like really key cards that uh, would normally be really problematic for us. Now we do have to worry about healing because we're not doing a whole lot of damage at a time here. Uh, this could actually be kind of rough in terms of our opponent. Um, Plus, getting really close to knock out them, healing off everything. So, let's go for a, another level ball. Go for another Mian Fu. Could even go for another Remoraid. I don't hate, but I really just do not want multiple Remoraid on the board. That's going to feel bad. So, I think we're going to take our chances and try to just draw into Air Balloon instead. We did prize some Mian Fu. No, sorry. We have our Aura for you. That's good. Prize to Octillery. We also have our great catcher. Okay. So I think we will do this preemptively and just go for the morning. <sighs> okay, so not too good. Like, yes, we can air balloon into a doll, which is fine, but our hand beyond that, not looking too good. So I actually, hmm. We'll do this in case of another escape rope. But beyond that, just gonna leave it at that. So we need, we really do need to get a draw supporter or hopefully our opponent just Marnies us. That'd be the best case scenario. Okay, and we get the Marnie. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jay Bozzi, for keeping this game going. <laughs> yeah, I feel like as long as we just draw kind of averagely, I think we can win this one. Oh, you know what? I, sh I should have checked for Karina. That's a card that is that could be important here. There's metal goggles. Oh man, guys, it's gonna be tough to take out Corviknight. Okay, thank God it has grass resistance and not fighting. That would be that'd be really horrible. Doing 30 damage at a time that wouldn't wouldn't really happen. Okay, so let's promote the Remoraid. Has the air balloon. So, let's see. Do we have our Karina in deck? We do not. It's not good, guys. So, I think we're just going to... Well, I guess we could actually go for Oracoria this turn. I actually don't hate that. Yeah, it kind of works just as good. Uh, we actually could chase down the Dene this turn. Or, actually, Crobat's probably the better one. So, yeah, I might still do that. 
All right. Okay, we can actually kind of kind of live with this hand. I think for that reason, we are going to... I think we are going to do that. Let's, uh... Let's do this. We'll actually go for the Octillery, because Octillery can grab us uh, the Amanda Shao, but also, of course, can grab us Pokemon on future turns as well. So if that works, let's just do this. Rapid Strike Search, go for the Mian Shao. So, go for the boss on poor little Crobat back there. Uh, we're just going to retreat. And I'm actually just going to preemptively attach as well. Uh, just because more than likely we're going to end up researching on this next turn. So, hopefully our opponent doesn't have another escape rope or a boss. But just going to go for the Spinning Whip, take out Crobat, get ourselves a couple prizes in the process. And just hopefully force them to go through a doll. That would be really good. All right, there's Air Balloon and Mian Xiao. Now, one thing that could be annoying late game is Clutch, actually. So I'm actually kind of hoping they evolve all their stuff because there is a world where, like, if they get down to two prizes and they go, like, Boss or Koryo Clutch, we just kind of lose. So I'm hoping they don't recognize that. That's something I'm kind of worried about, maybe. There's the boss, probably gonna chase down, chase down our Oracorio. We have our Octillery though, so I'm actually kind of okay with this. It's not ideal. Like, I don't like our opponent getting two prizes, but I think we can live with that. And that's three boss down. At most, they have one more if they are playing an Eldegoss. Because I don't think there's any world where Corviknight's playing four boss doors. It just doesn't seem right. Okay, so there we go. Level ball, that is good. I think actually we will. Probably level ball for Swablu this turn. And normally I would wait to use Octillery after we play Supporter, but we have everything we need in terms of Rapid Strike targets. So I think for this turn, uh, we're just going to go ahead and grab the extra Mianfu here. Okay, so our deck is stabilizing a little bit. Again, it feels kind of bad not having Oracorio now, but it is what it is. And just go for the research. Okay, so we will just go for the spinning whip. I mean, actually, I think we will attach. I don't think there's a world where they boss again. Not on Mianfu, at least. I think they'd be more likely to take out Swablu, if anything. So, yeah. So, pretty good hand lineup for next turn, too. We have... Altaria, Mian Xiao, and a supporter. We have our energy already in play. Okay, just starting to power up Core Knight. That's cool. Yeah, the one... Ooh, there's the escape rope. That is a bit of a bummer, guys. That is a bummer. Okay, so who do we give up here? I almost kind of think the Octillery, unfortunately. I really want to be able to... Well... We're going to have another doll in play either way, so... Yeah, this is fine. I think that's what we're going to do. I think Octillery is too good. We've already lost our Oracorio. We want to keep our other consistency booster. Oh, and they have the Marnie. God. God, that's rough. So definitely glad we kept the Octillery now. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, that is disgusting. So yeah, definitely going to be kept this. We can get an attack off, but we don't have a good follow-up. We had four supporters we just lost, so... How many switch are they down? Two escape rope, okay. I'm assuming they don't play more than two. So come on, draw supporter. Let's let's make it happen. Okay, that's decent, I guess. So we'll love ball here. Grab another Mianfu. Get down, Swablu, since we have the, the Altarian hand. 
Go for the rapid strike surge. So this is definitely another situation where not having Karina is kind of annoying. Okay. So I think I might even put Oracorio back. But man, that opens us up to an Eldegoss play. I feel like there's no way they're not playing Eldegoss in their deck. Yeah, we're just going to do this and just hope they have a Marnie or they have a... Let's see. Or a Reset Stamp. That'd be great too. But I don't think we're going to get quite that lucky. So there's the doll. They could just retreat into Zacian and take a knockout. I think... Probably actually better to attack with this Corviknight V. I think that's going to be a little bit of a better option for them. Because that could save some of their energy. And also, uh, they can if we attack into this, we can they can eventually heal the Corviknight. They can't heal Zacian. So I'm actually kind of hoping they go for the Zacian. Okay, that's best case scenario. Because if we miraculously get off and attack this turn, we'll only need one more boss and a great catcher to win the game. Okay, quick ball. Are we going to see their Eldegoss? If this is Eldegoss, I think we do use the Ordinary. Okay, so after this turn, it is going to be safe to go for the Oracorio, because I don't think they're going to have another boss. I think it's highly unlikely. Okay, but just going for the Brave Blade. Okay, interesting, interesting. Another doll, that's good. We can survive for a turn or two, at least. We have the... Altar. Very curious they did not go for the Elgas. Huh. Rapid Strike Search. Probably just go for another Mianfu. Or even Rapid Strike Energy. I don't mind that either. So, yeah. That's fine. So we'll just retreat. Feed them the Altaria more than likely. Because when they start attacking with the Bronze Song, I want to still have dolls to promote. So uh, we'll just click done for the moment. Yeah, this uh this mid-game brick city that we entered into is uh kind of killing us though. Oh man, that and we get hit with the Marnie again. <laughs> Thank god. Maze Marnies are bailing us out, but we needed the help, guys. I mean, we were drawing pretty poor there. Okay. It's like the one turn Bruno isn't good, which is really a shame. But hey. We can work with it. We do have another air balloon in deck. So if we can just find I an mean, air balloon and energy and a Mianfu. That's what we want to see. Okay, so since they have not played that Eldegoss they quick balled for, we are not gonna get Oracoria back in play. Okay, Tools Crafter, that's actually really big. Granted, I don't think we're going to end up going through these Corviknights to win, but it at least gives us more of an option to do so. Okay, so we will evolve. Get down the doll. And we'll just go for Bruno. Okay, so we can live with this. Go for the Rapid Strike Search. Grab a Rapid Strike Energy, preemptively for next turn. And from there, just pass over to our opponent. Okay, so that Marty really helped us out there. And again, just kind of a shame we didn't get to use Bruno this turn. Not for the full effect, at least. Because Bruno is usually such a good card in this deck. So there's Bronzong. Oh, they have Aegislash. Oh, come on, bro. What are you doing? Okay, 
the the game just got a lot harder. Oh, man, I'm not I'm not confident we can get through this guy. Well, I'll say this: once we confuse Age of Slash, things get a little bit better for us because Age of Slash does have a three retreat cost, and they've gone through. Let's see, two escape rope. Oh, just the two escape rope. Man, how have they not gone through that many switching cards? Yeah, regular switches are still going to be a problem for us. So we'll just do this here. Um, probably do this here. Might even go for a second me and Fu at this point. Yes, that's fine. We'll sleep that and just go for the research. Well, yeah, let's just preemptively go for the Mian Fu. Thin our deck out a little bit more here. And we'll just research. All right, so we'll retreat. And go for the Spinning Whip. Hopefully the confusion sticks. Age of Slash is definitely going to be annoying for us. Between this and the Bronze Song, they definitely have a lot of outs against our Altaria, which is a bit of a bummer. If they weren't playing the Age of Slash, I actually would be a little bit more confident about our chances here. Let's see, we're one boss down. We, sh we still have another one plus Great Catcher. So I think we're still in this game. It just kind of comes down to if they're able to... Okay, they are going to be able to attack. That's super annoying. Okay, boss, that's good. We can take out, no. Oh, we need boss to chase down a Pokemon V. But, so I think we actually just keep this hand. Let's see, Great Ball, go for a Swablu. That's good. Great Ball again. Mew, at least it thins the deck for us a little bit. Go for another Mian Fu. Or maybe a Mian Shao. Yeah, that's actually probably better. Because they're actually not going to boss on this next turn. Get down Swablu. Let's attach. And go for the spinning whip. So next turn, we can boss the Sage Slash. Then after that, we just need we just need Great Catcher on the Dene for game. So hopefully they're out of Marnies. This is like the one turn where I do want to keep this hand. So we're down three. Okay, and there's a research. Ganger of Cheryl's also yeah, probably not relevant. We're not even gonna go through Corb Knight this game. Okay, so they're just going to hard retreat. That's good. So now, like I said, we can chase this down, and then we have the Great Catcher to follow up on the next turn. In theory, right? <laughs> so we need to we need to top deck another Mian Fu if possible. Okay, there's G-Max Hurricane. Don't really care about that. Yeah, we need either we need Energy or Mian Fu off this top deck. Or in a ride. Um, Eldegoss still is in deck, so I don't think we go for an Oracordio play. So yeah, this is a turn where we just have to kind of just chill and reset up our board a little bit. So there's the Rapid Strike energy. Do this. Boss Age of Slash, and then we need a turn to um, just set up kind of after this. Um, I think actually we will go for the Ornate Rod, believe it or not, because I don't mind getting down Oracorio if it means 
it'll help us draw into like the game winning catcher. So that's fine. And at this point, I think we'll just get down. Have they played a tool scrapper? They have not. So I might even just hang on to. I might put this guy back in deck. And from there, we'll just go for the spinning whip. Okay, so victory is within our grasp, but we just have to hope they don't have a boss or a way to deal with the Saltaria this turn. Because they can attack with Bronzong, but Bronzong's not actually going to get one hit knockout. Okay, there's our Karina. So if they do, like, reset stamp us, we do at least have access to our Karina to draw cards now. But definitely a card I would have loved to have seen earlier in this game when we were drawing a little bit rougher. Okay, there's the Bronzong, so they can't actually one-shot us. That's good. So this will give us the one turn we need to set up, ideally, some Mianfus here. So just kind of curious, are we going to get hit with a reset stamp or Marnie or anything else? I think that's the only other thing I can think of that would be kind of an annoyance. There's the reset stamp. So yeah, Karina, definitely a good card to hit there off of our prizes. And a Zen headbutt. So yeah, we have to get Mianfu. Absolutely have to. So let's go with the Rapid Trick Search. Grab a Karina. I mean, we could even just go for the Mian Fu. But then if they boss chase down Octillery, we just kind of lose. So I think this is probably our play. Do we have another doll left in deck? No, we do not. Okay, so we're going to get this down. With an air balloon. Uh, we can also lose to like a Corviknight V with Clutch. That's another thing I am kind of afraid of too at some point here. Okay, that's good. So there's Great Ball. We just get another Mian Fu. Alrighty guys, so we we're back in it. That reset stamp was potentially really bad for us, but we managed to survive it. Now all we have to do is find Great Catcher. We have 17 cards left in deck, so this research is gonna need to put in some work here. There's Pokemon Communication, Queen Corviknight back in deck. Are we going to see the Eldegoss? Okay, we're going to see Bronzor. Okay, there's the Zen Headbutt. All right, so it's, it's make or break. If we don't have it this turn, that's game over. Bruno. Bruno could be good, but I actually don't want to draw back in, into these cards. So for that reason, I'm just going to do this, this, and go for the research. We need Great Catcher, Energy, Mianchao. And we whiffed, guys. Oh, man. I think maybe in hindsight we should have gone for the Rapid Strike Search first. Oh, man. That was a close one. But, yeah, unfortunately, guys, it's not going to happen. I mean, you can see some of these cards would have been good to get. So again, I think that might have been a mistake on my part, even not preemptively going for the Rapid Strike Search. I mean, who knows? That might not have even made the difference, but... <sighs> yeah, that's a little bit heartbreaking. So, I mean, we'll be a good sport. We'll play it out, guys. But, I mean, they can just hard retreat into Corviknight, take their last KO. And unfortunately, that is just gonna be the game so go for the spinning whip like if we could use two octillaries per turn i would have actually just gone for the mian Xiao and the energy but since it's only limited to one like i didn't want to for example go for an energy then not draw into mian Xiao off the research i think actually maybe going for energy either way could have been good just because we still had great ball and communication in deck so I think maybe going for the Rapid Strike Energy in hindsight at the end might have been a little bit better. But again, 
you never want to be in that situation where you like uh you rapid strike ahead of time and then you can't rapid strike for the remaining combo piece that you still need to hit all right so the Corviknight deck got us though all right guys that's gonna wrap up our look here at the Mian Shao deck today i mean as you can see the deck is kind of cool but i i think this deck still isn't the most well positioned right now dragapult has been sort of gaining some traction in the format and dragapult just annihilates a deck like this so we still have that running around we have adp running around between both of those it kind of makes it tough for a deck like this to really succeed so i think long term this card does have a lot of potential but right now it might just be more of a fun rogue deck but that's going to be the video i hope you guys did enjoy today's content of course if you did remember to like the video subscribe and turn on those notifications that way you'll be up to date whenever my next video does drop and if you want to take your support to the next level you can also become a patron at patreon.com rarecandytcg or pick up some merch over at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.